I'm not particularly fond of pasta, but most people do some variation of pasta at some point while they're here. I'm a big pasta person, so I make a lot of that. What are your thoughts on pasta? Love pasta, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the grey meal, my favourite. <laughs> I'm Lily, um, I'm studying linguistics and I'm in my first year. So I live in Harvey Court, which is one of the freshest accommodations on West Road. And I have a band C room, which is the lowest band, but it still has an ensuite, um, as all the rooms do in this building. And yeah, I really like it. I would say my favourite bit is kind of the bed, because I've tried to make it really cosy. And there's a big window, so you get a nice view of like the sky so it feels nice and open. We've got like cork boards here, so I've put like lots of personalised things on it and the fairy lights make a big difference, I think, too. It makes it nice and cosy and warm. It's really nice. It's really like sociable. People come in the corridors and just chat and there's the balconies as well, which are a nice place to hang out if it's sunny enough. <laughs> and there's the like a microwave and we have a little induction hob and there's no oven, but because we have the like catering here, I don't find that to be a big problem. Another good thing is like the distance to the the lecture building in the morning, because I have my lectures at Sidgwick site, so I'm literally like out the door and then it's three minutes-ish <laughs> to get there. Hi, I'm Tia McBurney and I'm a first year studying HSPS at Gonville and Keys. So with the room, I just applied for C-band, which is um, the cheapest of rent, but there's not much difference um, in terms of rent. I like pink, so I chose pink bed sheets. Um, I also put um, little figurines that I like that I think are representative of me and it's so why I have a group like pencil holder. I have paintings that me and my friends have done together. I have a whiteboard that I ask people to write on every time they come in my room. And then I have a teddy that my aunt gave me to bring to uni, just on the shelf, with a picture of my grandma, to personalise it as best as I can. So I live in Harvey Court, and maybe I'm biased, but I think Harvey Court is the best building. I think it's just a lot more personable and like communal, because the corridor space and the rooms are a lot bigger, so it's easier to like socialise. Most things are hosted here, if you're going on nights out or what have you. So I'm really lucky and I have quite a big kitchen with a table and chairs and I share with eight other people I think. Um, I usually cook the same variations of different meals because we don't have ovens so you're restricted to your hob but it's quite the reason to be creative because you have um, quesadillas, we had a quesadilla night recently in my kitchen, um, we have, I usually make stir fry, that's my go-to meal. There's flatbreads, you could do tacos, you could do fajitas, it's pretty much the world is your oyster, but cooking is the most social aspect whilst you're studying because you're always stressed in the library, so if you're not at a hall, you're cooking together with people in your kitchen, so it's quite a nice experience. Keys has ensuite guaranteed for first year accommodation, and it's I have a really nice bathroom that's quite big and spacious and has all the facilities you would need. Um, the, the shower has like a door that shuts, so you're in a little cubicle, um, and it's warm and big enough that you're not tripping over yourself so yeah <laughs> so i'm daisy i do classics and i'm in my second year uh, i live in rose crescent um which is possibly second to old courts the most central geographically location you can live in in cambridge i have mcdonald's right below me there's just a really nice view from the windows it's just a really nice vibe you know and some of us wanted to live further out and some of us wanted to live more centrally um, that's that's maybe one of the few like issues with living centrally is the noise, but if you're fine with that sort of thing, it's fine. I pay about two grand for my room per term, but that's including continuous rental, which is essentially where you rent your room outside of term time. It would be um, a lot less had I not chosen to do that, but because I live so centrally, um, it just makes more sense because then it means I don't have to move all of my stuff out every single holiday. Two grand sounds like a lot of money. I know when I saw it, I was like, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but obviously you have your student loan, you can get bursaries to help you with it. So I've never, I've never felt like, oh my God, that's a lot of money to pay. I have a lot of art in my room. Um, before I came to uni, I did an art foundation and I'm very passionate about my art. So there's a lot of it displayed around the place. I really love my desk as well. I just think it's such a nice little vibe. It's right next to the window. I love like working late at night when it's dark and you've got the street lights. It's just so gorgeous. There are two bathrooms. So we actually have a bath, but most people just use it as a shower. Um, so we have two showers, two toilets, um, two sinks. Our bathroom in particular for this corridor has just been renovated. So the bathrooms are really nice. Everyone on this corridor is like amazing with the bathroom. So I'm, 
I don't mind sharing a bathroom, it's absolutely fine. So the kitchen hasn't been renovated recently, which, but it's fine. It's um, very basic. You've got your microwave, your hob, your two fridges. There's a kettle, there's a toaster, all your basics. In our kitchen, there is like about 70,000 cupboards for some reason. So there's like loads of room to put your stuff. I think it's like five or six for the bathroom and then like seven for the kitchen because there are people upstairs who also use the kitchen. So my name's Tom. I'm a third year English student at Keys. Uh, I live in Old Courts in Goblin Keys. I live in our staircase at the moment. I really like um, how social it is. You get to see the porters every time you come in, when you collect your post. Um, you get to live with, with a bunch of your friends. You share the same kind of utilities and stuff like that. You know, you're so close to Hall and everything. I love being in Central. Um, and all the shops are so close. So you're right near the library so it's literally less than like a two minute walk to the library you're really close to the center of the town it's not too loud in here because you're in like a in a strange little hub in keys which means that you're quite secluded and you know you're kind of a little bit separate from the city even though you're right right in the middle but you step outside and you're straight in the bustle of town again i think my favorite thing about living in old courts is the view uh, it feels like you're living in a bit of a castle. I'm quite lucky, I've got quite a big room. Um, I personalised my room by putting up a bunch of photos of my friends, my family, a couple of drawings, posters. You've got a lot of space to kind of decorate and kind of make it your own. I've also got a sink, which, you know, is just nice for to like wash your face and brush your teeth without, you know, necessarily having to bump into everyone. So I share my bathroom with four people, including me, um, and we share a small kitchen as well. So we have a little a microwave and a kettle. On my staircase there are about nine people so we've got two showers between the nine of us and then we've got um, a bathroom on each floor so that's between four or five. Not every staircase has a hob um, so you get, have to be quite creative so making pasta in the microwaves is challenging but you know it does work. Yeah just kind of <laughs> typical student meals, the kettle's useful for pot noodles and you can cook with other friends who do, do have a hob so you can kind of cook together so there are ways around it and you eat in hall most of the time anyway so there are lots of ways around it. Do not laugh <laughs> Let's, can we film that again? Yeah, yeah, sure. David. We have Pepper's Ham on the plate and I really thought that was going to be high milk. Because I hate Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my god, you're so, yeah, okay. Because my thing is because I hate that film. Kindred spirit. I, I'll just... I didn't realise you were recording. So I'm going to do it. I shouldn't have pointed. It's the way that we work when the refugees sing. Ooh, la 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 la